I'm Dr. Carolee Johnson with Quantum Techniques. Today I want to talk about our limiting beliefs and how they can rule things in our life that we had no idea they effect, affected. Um, our core beliefs can affect our health, our weight, and even our ability to accomplish certain things that we want to accomplish. Our unconscious beliefs or our core belief system consists of programs and beliefs with emotions mixed into the mesh. And these belief programs and perceptions occur in a hierarchy from the subconscious to the more obvious conscious level of behavior. If you were, well, let's use a tree as an analogy. Um, if you look at a tree, the leaves and the branches are the most notable, no, noticeable parts of the tree. And in our belief system, you could say that the branches and leaves are like the obvious symptoms that we have in our body or the fruit that we're receiving in our lives from the beliefs that are planted there or basically the behaviors that we're expressing that come from those roots. You can't really get rid of the tree just by cutting it down. Um, it might work to consciously change behaviors. Well, it, it, that, that is actually really helpful, but you you can get those little suckers coming back up from the roots saying I'm not good or I'm not worthy or I might do something wrong and pretty soon you have a tree again. So what we want to do is get to the root and get those roots out and plant a good tree. Or in other words a positive belief that will bear good fruit and of course we want to always choose to consciously take responsibility and be a good steward of our thoughts that we allow to stay in our mind. An example might be, I can't lose weight. Consciously you say, well, um, I choose to be 150 pounds, and then you go on a diet and start exercising. And all of that is conscious, but underneath that, let's say that there is an unconscious core belief of, if I lose weight and look great, I'll have an affair, because attractive women are unfaithful. And you may not realize that there is an unconscious core belief like that holding you back, so where did that belief come from? At Quantum Techniques, then we can find those core beliefs and where they came from by muscle testing and then clearing the limiting beliefs and replacing those with a positive or empowering belief. The young lady that I'm talking about in my example is a true story. And when this young lady was young, her mother had an affair and it ruined her family and put the little girl's life into a turmoil that became very emotionally traumatic. She felt like nothing in her life was stable, and when she hit puberty, she put on a lot of weight and it wouldn't come back off no matter what she did. Unconsciously, she was terrified of that type of instability in her life, and so her automatic behavior kept her from slimming down until the faulty belief was found and cleared. And we pulled up the roots and replaced it with, I'm releasing weight, and I'm still faithful. And attractive women do have successful marriages. So whatever is going on in your life that isn't working, I can help you find what's, what it is that you unconsciously believe that is limiting you from accomplishing everything that you want to accomplish. A lot of times, negative emotions are the first clue that something is off. If you're walking around with a chip on your shoulder, or you feel angry all the time, or you feel like you're holding a grudge, or you lash out easily for something that doesn't really justify that level of reaction, then you know that there are unconscious roots that need to be dug up and taken out. Or, you know, some people, they just cry over every little thing. There's a reason for that. Maybe you're just depressed or anxious. Um, what we do at Quantum Techniques is we find out what belief or you know, what core issue is keeping you in that negative place. Sometimes it's just a trauma. And that trauma is a cry for a trauma to be healed. You can get a hold of me at quantumtechniques.com and um, we'll find out what's going on for you. And hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.